should I whip up today? That is a great idea! Cooking something else now? Tatsu can't possibly eat any more corn. Don't worry, this is something new. One of Earth's great delicacies, foie gras. Foie grub? Foie grub sounds delicious. Maybe Tatsu try some when Linley finished cooking. Can Tatsu help? Actually, you can. In fact, I can't make it without you. Oh, really? I just need one little favor. Of course. Tatsu is at your disposal. What can Tatsu provide for Chef Finley? Your liver. M -m 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 -t Tatsu is here to serve, not be served, Lindley. Oh, just remembered. I have goose liver. Lindley did that on purpose. Lindley is vicious and nasty. All right, everyone. Dig in. Man, oh man. Delicious. Lucky thing I happen to be in the neighborhood. You say that every time, Commander, but you always arrive as we're setting the table. Oh? You don't say. <sighs> Alright, listen up. We found something in Noctilum thanks to Frontier Nav. That's northwest of here, Rook. Looks like a piece of the life hold. That's great news. Damn right. Look at this. Oh, friends mean nightglow woods. Is that what the Nopon call it? We didn't have names for anything here, so we've been using Noctilum for that whole region. <laughs> well, that's a silly name. And nightglow woods isn't? Ahem. <clears throat> Moving on. Right, sorry. According to the Pathfinder's report, there's a large number of indigents in the area, but thankfully no sign of any intelligent life forms. No, no, that's wrong. Nobon visit Nightglow Woods all the time. Yeah, well, like I said, no intelligent life forms have been reported, but it never hurts to be cautious. Mm, friends patronize Tatsu. Nopon proud and brave people with rich history, you know. Pipe down, small fry, or I'll make that nickname come true. We'll have you check in with Lau's team first. They're already on assignment installing probes in the area. We don't have a fix on the life old signal, just a general direction. See if they've got more info. Got it. Yep, we have our work cut out for us. A piece of the life hole was detected in the Noctilum region to the west of NLA. Head there and investigate. And there you have it. That is our objective for the time being. We're back with more of ZCX, aka Xenoblade Chronicles X. And previously, we did some affinity missions and now we've started chapter 4. Oh, and if you haven't noticed already, I've leveled up. I'm now at level 17, but I know I'm going to have to train a lot more so that way I can survive a wild. I spent like an hour or two training off screen so that way I can prepare. And there's going to be a lot of other affinity missions I will be covering in the days to come. So keep your eyes off. Or keep your eyes open. And we have more affinity missions coming, or rather main missions, so they'll take a while. For now, our main focus is to just head to, I believe... Oh, we're almost at like... Alright, time to call the elevator so that way we can be able to like head on our way. And yeah, I'm almost at 6,000 Meranium. We've collected a lot, and we got some good reward tickets. Well, may as well make use of them. Alright, time to take it down. So yeah, it's a long journey, and now we're going to be heading to a new continent altogether. Noctilum. But it's going to take a while indeed, especially since we have to run all the way to the west section of NLA. But hey, look at it this way, we get to check out a lot. I prefer taking the safer route. 
There's the commercial district up ahead. It's a good opportunity to check it out. And for every region we discover, we get more experience. I'm right now level 17, and so is Elma. Lynn's at 16, while Doug's at 19. As I said, I took the time to train, and I decided to bring Doug along for the ride. And it works. And this is East Melville Street. Sorry. And we're getting neat, juicy tidbits about this place. What's this? What's this? Oh yeah, you can't accept story and affinity missions at the same time. I see, we'll have to take care of that much later. So many missions here, I can have a field day checking this place out. I really would! And we have West Melville Street. Almost there. Voiding scales. All right, not bad. Getting the hang of it now. And pretty soon I will reach chapter five. I look forward to after chapter six because that's when we can get our scale and that's when I can really have fun operating a giant robot. But I mostly call it a mobile suit. And we discovered the West Gate. Isn't that sweet? Let's just hope we can, like, input frontier navs along the way. So that way it can help get us around much quicker. Oh, these guys are a joke. And our objective is up all the way up north. This will pretty much take a while. A long while, especially. There's a frontier nav dead ahead. We'll have to go for that first. So along the way on our journey, we'll be like finding frontier navs and installing them. And we found something interesting as well. And I keep getting a lot of these squad member achievements, since remember, I'm playing it offline. Let's take care of that. Good. And let's also take care of the Frontier Nav that's right here. FN-107. Done. New areas unlocked. This is gonna help us out. And we also got a basic probe. We need to get our hands on a lot of mining and research probes. We need the probe so that way we can get more meridium, more reward, so that way we can get better gear. And the more better gear we have, the stronger chance we have of surviving. Survival is of the fittest, after all. But if you also want to know, I'm nine hours into the game and I still haven't even scratched the surface. This game hasn't even come close to giving us a lot. There's so much here we can do that it's going to take us forever. But in the meantime, we need to press onwards. And be wary of any enemy forces around here. If there are any, we got to be ready for the worst. But with how I am right now, I'm not worried. You know what? Let's have a little sparring match. This is going to hurt. Yeah, that's gonna hurt big time. And the pain keeps on piling. No, oh, did you like the pain? It's gonna hurt you a lot more, believe me. Bye bye. And now let's take care of this one. Yeah, did that have to hurt? Oh, 
And he blocked it. Wow, that worked. And that should do it. Nice. As long as we don't get their attention, we'll be fine. Okay, trying to reach it would probably be the hard part. And for very good reason. Since we're gonna have to be taking up the high road. And this is the only better way to go. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go into BRB, so I'll see you guys in a bit when we reach our destination. I pray I make it in one piece, though. Alright guys, we're back. We've arrived at the FN Site 103. We installed Data Probe here. Beautiful. And Lau's right nearby, so we just need to meet up with them, and all will come to pass. Hey, hey. Look who it is. Lau, it's been a while. It has. Are you going to introduce me to your friends? Where's Danny and Boris? These are my new team members. As for Danny and Boris, we had a bad run-in with a powerful indigen. They didn't make it. I see. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I hadn't heard. It's okay. And what's up with this onion thing? You using it for rations or something? Tatsu not onion or ration. Tatsu is no pun. Brave and distinguished people with long history on Mira. <laughs> it talks. Where'd you find this thing? Rescued him. He was about to become lunch for some prone, these hostile Xenos we ran into. He's agreed to serve as our guide here. Wow. Okay. And you? What's your story? Are you really as young as you look? Sure am. Thirteen years old inside and out. I'm Lin Lee Koo. Well, hello, Lin Lee Koo. You must be something to be able to make Elma's team at thirteen. All right. What about you? I'm Lao Huang. I head up Pathfinder Team Belisarda. Good to meet you. You've got an interesting crew here. But they seem capable enough. I chose them personally. I figured. So, I heard Nelson's whole team got wiped out by some nasty new Xenos. Is that true? Yeah, those prone I mentioned. We're not sure if they're the ones that destroyed Earth. But their tech certainly seemed advanced enough. Really? We better watch our backs. By the way, we picked up a life hold signal in the direction of Noctilum. Have you or your crew come across anything? Where? Around here? I take it the answer is no. Yeah, this is the first I've heard of it. We bumped into another team and they didn't mention it either. I see. All right. We were hoping your team might have a lead or some more info, but no such luck, huh? Well, thanks anyway. We should go. Hey, hold up, hold up. Mind if I tag along? But your assignment? We're more or less done here. We just need to report back. Well, until you do, you're not done here. Oh, give me a break, Elma. The rest of my crew can handle the paperwork. We're talking about a piece of the life hold here. I've never even seen one. That's way more important. Besides, you might need the help. 
finding it or handling the indigents that get in your way. Now come on. Hmm. Well, I guess we have a choice. We can choose to have him on our side. And Le Lau's providing us some advice on making the most of Frontier Nav. Impressive. And we also get some presents. Some uranium. We'll need it. And we have Lau. His battle style uses a standard Parison Eagle style to engage in ranged combat while also keeping melee enemies at bay. He has Afterburner and Balance Breaker. And you know what? Why not? I'm adding Lau to the team. So Doug's gonna have to take a back break, I mean a breather for a little while. Sorry my friend, but don't worry, we'll team up with you much later. Alright, time for us to press on. Though I couldn't help but notice the noise that was like there throughout the cutscene. And we're gonna have to play it safe because who knows what we're gonna be encountering in Noctilum. Nice, we've arrived. And we enter Noctilum at last. Still, you can't let your guard down in a place like this. You gotta make sure you check everything that this area can provide. And it's better to play it safe because look at that. We have enemies that will spot you if you're careless. Alright, nice. And now we gotta find our way around. Let's take down this Lake Mortifall. And we also uncovered some more areas. Up here. Time to blast them. Don't worry, I got an assault hammer ready. Yeah, did that hurt? Oh, this is gonna hurt you more. And you're done. I had no idea it was weak to fire. Awesome. Wow, a level 45. I don't think they'll let us walk away. Oh, nuts. A leg more to fall. We gotta move this thing far away. Once we move it away, then we engage. Furious Blast. Really? You think that's gonna work? And Tornado Blade, we should finish the job. It's either you or us. Sorry, dude, but you gotta get beat. A lot of level 40, level 50 enemies. Get him. And got toppled. And sadly, you've been wiped. Have a nice day. And we keep finding more of these. All right, good. Again? All right, let's get him. And this is gonna hurt. Well, that take him down. And spiral it up. Wow, cut off one of his wings. And here it comes. And done. That was easy. That had a majorly hurt. Wow. Painful, isn't it? Now let's finish the job. And done. Get a Sweepo Subduer. That's awesome. There you go. And here comes the pain. And it delivered a whole slew of burning effect. And taken down. 
Wow. That's impressive. I wonder what else we're gonna find in a place like this. Oh dear. Alright, you dumb ape, you wanna fight? Be my guest. ATAC! And here it comes, burn and slash! One, two, three! Furious Blast! That's a lot of critical hit damage! Oh, come- what?! You serious?! Fine, I'll use an aura. And I don't have to worry about that, he is down for the count! Nice! Not bad. Field action succeeded, we get more battle points, and now we can press onwards. And we enter inside the whale's gullet. Oh my! On second thought, I can worry about that later. Besides, I want to go there when I'm at least a little bit stronger. But I also have to deal with the fact that there are level 30 enemies here. And if they spot you, you know you are dead. And don't worry, the poison water isn't going to damage you that much. Once you're on solid land, that's when you can heal yourself up. And it looks like we have a quest. Let's check it out. Alright, why not? A crazy meth fight? I see. This can't be good. Alright, do it. Well, we need to get the weapon test data from its skulls and set the mission as our nav target. And I don't even want to get near that forest, Africa. Although I have to admit, many of the monsters here look amazing. Burning Slash! And here comes the pain! That's some serious topple damage. Done! Nice, we get a class skill. And we get the class skill master achievement. Awesome, that's cool. Bring it! Just gotta keep on delivering the pain no matter what. Dang! Nice shot. And he's dead. That was pretty good. We gotta hold this way then. Another spider, you wanna fight? Be my guest. And unleash! Another dose! Come on, that all you got? Done! He's beat. And another class skill art achieved. That's awesome. So now we need to find, like, some data regarding a damaged scale. If we can get that, then we're set. And another one naming Shulk. This game is getting notorious because the fact that Shulk's VA is in this. I don't mind it. Personally, I don't. We reach FN Site 222, and now we have to implement this. Installing Data Probe. Nice, we have more access to the area around us. Now let's move. 
And yeah, the world is massive. It's a massive world, a massive place. And there's so much to do here, but it is insane. But for this bit, we're going to have to go there quietly. And we got a biological skill developed achievement. Somebody else did. I like how the social aspect is that you get to check out what others have already done. A Dave Turba. Not worry. A Dove Turba, I mean. Not worry. Let's get ourselves on dry land and then take them down. Come on. This thing comes fast. We need some dry land. Attack! Fire at everything you've got. And done. That was quick. Done and done. Pretty easy assignment. No, all we gotta do is keep on heading straight ahead, find the data, reach where the cave is, and then we're set. We found another landmark. Old Dragon Tail Tree. There's a lot of landmarks here in this level. It's insane. I mean, you must be on the right path. And the only reason why I'm doing this instead of running, because it's better this way. And there's Russ Lake. And if this guy wants to fight, let's do it. Unleash. Fire with everything you've got. Aria the Zorba. And he's unleashing water damage. Well, that ought to slow him down. Just gotta keep on delivering that pain. Nice work, guys. Making this look easy. He's toppled. Now's our chance. Oh, that didn't work. And this should finish him off. And done. Who else wants some? A jocular soy, a saltat. I can't even get the name right, and it's spewing out loads of water damage. Let's go. And the boss music company makes it all the more satisfying. Unleash! Another one? Even better. Let's do it. One, two, three. Yeah, did that hurt? Your stomach's lost. Consider it done. And taken care of. That's a lot we've dealt with. And we've netted a lot of rewards along the way. That was a fun fight. I like that. Pretty fun. And I'm not getting near it this time. I hate un un uninvited guests. Uninvited guests ruin the experience. Oh wait, we're close. We're close. And it must be this way. All right, we made it. And somebody doesn't want us in the way, huh? Fine, take him down. Increase pain. Whoa. Damn, that's brutal. You want some of this? Uh -uh. Burst grenade. And man, the pain is devastatingly awesome. 
And he's getting toppled again and again. Well done, you guys. Well done. That was glorious. And this must be it. Let's scoop up the data and then head off. Now we gotta meet up with the guy to get the goods. And then after that, I'll see, do a BRB and then meet you guys with the main objective. And we made it. As long as we don't attract any attention, we'll be fine. Ah, there he is. If this guy's asking for a fight, let's go. This is gonna hurt you real bad, isn't it? Burn and slash, and it's at level 16. Let's pray it's enough. Yep, it is. Good. Now let's meet up with the guy again, get a reward, and we can head off. Man, that was something. Against a giant cat monster. I've seen a lot of weird stuff happen in this game. Thank you. Yep. Can't blame you there. And there you go. Mission complete. Eh, oh, phew. That was a job well done. And now it's time for us to continue on our way to the main mission at hand. Right. Let's, do this. Let's take care of this guy first. And blast! Fire at will. At least the blade effect, I mean the blaze effects are doing wonders. Wow, that's some neat rewards. Isn't that sweet? And I got a feeling that we're about to have a very uninvited guest showing up. For better or worse, let's be ready for it. And here they come now. That one. Let the battle begin. Gerhard, alone and proud. We gotta deliver a lot of damage to him. You know, all of that's not gonna help much. And Lau's in trouble if we don't save him. Fine, burst grenade. Just gotta keep shooting and shooting and shooting so that way we can like get more attack points. Defensive stance. Yeah, because the defensive stance also doubles as healing. Almost got him. Tornado blade. Great, I staggered. And Lau's done for. All right. Now let's take care of this guy. And now, one, two, three. We gotta help them. So many of these guys are gonna take forever. Defensive stance. All right. 
Got lucky and we've netted a whole slew of goods. Isn't that what I call sweet? So yeah, that was a lot we had to take in for. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to like cut a bit for a little while. So that way we can be able to reach our main goal without any trouble. So yeah, the RV, I'll be back in a bit. And before I do, let's take care of this guy. Blast away. Oh great, now he's gonna bring trouble. Not for long, he's dead. Edit my hands on a whole slew of goodies. So yeah, I'll see you guys later for when we reach our destination. The life hold piece should be beyond this mountain. What? Friends will climb big rocky mountain? Tatsu has no problem, but what about Linley's poor weak stick legs? Excuse me? At least I have legs. Uh, Linley go first then. What? Uh, hey, uh, Elma, I think we should find another way. You know, for Tatsu's sake. Agreed. I noticed the path forked on the way here. Why don't we head back and try that route? Sure, Lindley. Blame the Nopon. Man, that's asking for trouble. Yes, we're back and I had to run, run, run away from that thing, from these things. These things are literally bad news, especially Especially at around level 37. They have like a lot of le level 37 enemies that really push me to my limits. And yeah, our way to get up there has been blocked. We need to find another way up. Uh, this is just going to make things ridiculously harder. And it doesn't know if I had to run away all the way to reach that point. I'm lucky to have even made it. Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky. This chapter I dislike because, well, you're going to end up getting your butt kicked horrendously if you get careless. Okay. Yeah, I'm nervous. I truly am nervous because I don't really know what the heck to do at this point. Especially since we're up against enemies that are going to deliver the pain. But looking around, it's easy to see why. Aha! There is a way. And we're going to have to take a nice big plunge to do so! But honestly... What is that? Well, time for us to find out. It looks like some kind of robot. At least I won't have to deal with level 30 based enemies. I'm like level 17. I'm going to have to train a little bit longer just so I can survive. Oh shoot. Garha the Guardian Deity. Run, run, run. Initiate emergency escape. And these Guardian DDs do one hit kill everything. And I died. Well, isn't that quaint? Yeah, return to the most recent landmark. Well, we already discovered a landmark, so that counts. Or not, because now we have to go all the way back. Ain't that a surprise? Now we gotta rush in all the way up there and reach that point again. Ugh, I had no idea. I thought it was like a giant robot or something. Okay. No one, let's just take down this freak and then be on our way. I hate this sort of thing. I swear to God. Time to burn him up. I'm gonna burn up this raging Simeus. 
Unleash. One, two, three. And this should finish the job. Yeah, now don't get me angry ever again. I get test raging simians. Now let's see if we can be able to make it there again. And the good news is we've already completed the other mission, so we're okay. This is, I believe, the point where the path of the virgins would split. The way up ahead is, like, really far, so we need to find another way. And this is the way to go. Yeah, there's one thing I don't like about this mission is the fact that, well, you have to trek so much just to get around. And it doesn't help that much if you deal with some otherworldly enemies, you're screwed. And we're avoiding that. We're avoiding that level 60 unless we are higher leveled and we get a scale so we can fight back. We're going around it. Unfortunately, there is a way around it. Let's only pray and hope we don't get their attention. But you know what? I'll see you guys later for when we reach that location. Alright? Hang in there. Friends, hold up! Something coming ahead! and kill the fox. We would never associate with those savages. Who are you? Ah, uh, yes, a thousand pardons. We are called El Suru. Or just El, if it please you. Like the proud no pawn among you, we have inhabited this planet since times of antiquity. A friend knows about no pawn people? Yes, yes, of course. No pond purchase my wares quite often, you know. They're excellent, how should I say, suckers? Uh, I think you mean customers. So, Mr. L, you've lived here a long time? Just L, and yes, such a nice, quiet world. The wildlife and insects are also docile, such gentle dispositions. Here are hungry, yes, granted. Gentle disposition, my butt. It's just. Hmm. What? Well, who can blame them with all the commotion here as of late? Not that we're pointing our fingers at you, mind. No, it's those prone, sons of bastards. Yeah, we're not their biggest fans either. We loathe them. They have ruined our once peaceful life here. Ruined! They are all. How should we say? Ass caves! Close enough. By the way, El, you seem to speak our language quite fluently. Well, yeah, most of the time. We owe it all to that wreckage back there. What a treasure trove! Especially the data terminal we found inside. It is the ultimate portable snack for satisfying our insatiable curiosity. Wreckage back there? You think that's our piece of the life hold? Certainly sounds like it. El, can we take a look at this terminal you found? Of course, of course. Thanks. Lynn, see what you can make of it. On it. Okay, yep. This is library data. Let me see. Huh, so it is. The unit L stumbled upon must be part of the Lifehold's archives. So, not the core then. The entire ship was torn to bits when we came down. The odds of any single piece of Lifehold being the core aren't very high. Yeah, I guess not. Now, now, Lynn, don't be glum. 
The Lifehold archives are the sum total of all human knowledge. This is still a really big find. We should try and secure it ASAP. Yeah, you're right. No, might not be a good time. Why not? Why else? The ass caves. We just came from there and thrown are all over the wreckage. What? Uh-oh. This is bad. Very bad. Let's go. Apologies, we didn't mention it before. We assumed you'd abandoned it. Allow us to show you the way. After all, as you say, too many heads are better than none, right? Uh, close enough. Oh man, what an ordeal. We did find FN Site 219, and let's add a probe into it. Probe set. And we are back as usual. And I'm hoping that this is the right way. And fortunately it is. And someone wants a fight. Let's do it. Lambert, the divine wind. We gotta make sure we deliver as much pain to him as possible. Ooh, we gotta get him. Furious Blast. Wow, you like to sink your fangs into it, huh? These guys are also weak to fire. Even better for me. Just gotta make sure to aim at the at the precise target. Nice, the blaze worked. Tornado blade. Man, we're encountering a lot of these enemies here. All the more reason to be hyped for it. Since we can deliver a lot of pain to them, and I mean bad. Uh, no. Stay down. And you're done. That was groovy. And I gotta file a whole slew of reports. Hopefully this can help make things a lot easier. Now we gotta reach that probe before it's too late. Fortunately, it won't take us long. And I only hope we don't get to deal with any more surprises. Man, this chapter has been one heck of a long ride. I kid you not. It's been a heck of a long ride. Trekking through the jungle, meeting up a new ally, completing a quest, trying to reach a certain area, counter exposition, dying against evil forces. Jeez, this is insane. Fortunately, we are at the end of the road, and... Oh dear. Enough talk. We fight. Alright, boy. You want a piece of this? Let's dance. Unfortunately, with our higher level, we'll manage just fine. We have to defeat three prone destroyers. And I hope they don't mind a serious dosage of pain. And the pain is going to deliver two full. There's one down. One down, two to go. We just need to take care of this, and then we're set. Just gotta keep going with this. And here, burn and slash! Fire at will. I gotta make sure Law gets better gear. And done. We did it. Whew, that was crazy.
Mistress Goenia, these are Earth Indians. Hmm. Well, well, well. Seeing truly is believing, isn't it? Who would have thought? That's what you call yourselves? Indeed. Humanity is a blight, a great cancer festering on the cosmos. Our job is to eradicate it. Humanity is here in peace. What gives you the right to destroy the life form? Is that what you call it? So quick. Your language, your technology. And yet, so dangerous. You must be purged. This is our calling as Gangu. The cause of the righteous. Then you'll forgive us for defending ourselves against your righteous cause. <laughs> well, this should at least be more entertaining than stamping out the lives of your sleeping friends. It is on. Let's go. We take on Goesha. And Goesha's no laughing matter either. She's literally packing a punch. And I'm gonna need Aura just so I can survive. Man, man, man. Seeing that cutscene and seeing how dangerous she is only further proves it. She is a powerful yet deadly force. And we're not taking any chance. Oh, great, I got flinched. Time to bring it. Uh oh, a crackling electricity has enveloped Goesha. And she unleashes it. But at least we're putting up a better fight than this. Fire with everything you've got! And we're not gonna rest until you're taken down. Burn it, Slash! Gotta keep going. Gotta at least try and survive. All right, defensive stance engaged. Great. At least I'm still heating, so I'm doing fine. One, two, three. Let's hope it's enough. And she's still giving it her all. Nice, we got her. Now let's take care of the Monarch Rocks. We're not slowing down yet. This fight's not over. Matter of fact, we're just getting started. What's wrong? Is that it? You're beat. You dare get in our way, trying to help, like interfere with us saving the planet? Well, guess what? You want to fight? You got it. And unfortunately, you're done.
wretched little primates. You don't know when to quit, do you? This isn't over. You cannot escape us on this planet or any other. Sooner or later, your kind will be cleansed! Mr. Scolidium, now, quickly! Fought victory indeed. Such a shame it cannot bring back that which was lost to you. But this is spilled milk over the dam now. I just don't get it. What do they have against humans? I'm not sure how they wound up on Mira. But you saw them, Nick. That is definitely them. Who? The aliens that destroyed Earth. The Ganglion were among them. What? It wasn't just them. They were definitely one of the forces involved in that battle. I'm absolutely positive now. That scale-like mech we just saw? Check it against the NLA records and I'm pretty sure it'll come back with a perfect match. <sighs> anyway, we really appreciate all your help here, El. But we need to be heading back now. Not at all. We only wish we could have done more. I wish we could compensate you somehow, but honestly, there's nothing left for us to give. Compensate you, sir? Hmm. How about allowing us to accompany you back to your city? You want to come back to New L.A.? Why exactly? Well, treasure trove was destroyed. Without the archives, we're afraid our thirst for knowledge cannot be quenched. But an entire Earth city to explore? Such an experience would provide compensation beyond compare. The thought makes us tingle. Okay. Hmm. What do you think, Rook? I trust him. Yeah. We're not like the Ganglion, after all. We want to live in harmony with all the other species here. Then it's settled. Excellent. Let's be off. The early worm is for the birds. Right, let's start heading back. We should report to the commander at once. That was a heck of a long trek. Wow. Just insane. Absolutely insane. The good news is we did cover a lot, so we're gonna have to head back to the blade barracks. Nuts. There we go. Let's fast travel back to the barracks interior and provide a debriefing. Hopefully with this, it'll conclude chapter 4. It's been a heck of a ride. A heck of a long ride at that. Wow. I'm really serious. This was just too much for all of us to bear. Oh yeah, we're supposed to do this outside. Alright, let's head out. But man, that was nuts. Absolutely nuts. I cannot stress this enough. Now we need to find a way out. Oh yeah, we have to head for the blade tower. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. Anything serious, we gotta report back to the big head honchos at the tower itself. Yeah. Yeah. It was long, rather long. I'm gonna have a lot of work to do editing out all the cuts so that way I can make this be short and sweet. It didn't help by the fact that we experienced some death along the way. And that one's level 4, so I gotta level that up a bit more. Alright, time to head inside. Hmm? Either you picked up another Xeno, or someone's been holding their breath too long. This is El. We met in Noctilum. 
We are El Siruf, if it please you. This planet has been our home since days of yore. Oh, a long-time resident? That's why we brought him back. His knowledge could prove invaluable. I'd like to request permission for him to stay in New L.A. We can't allow just anyone to waltz into our city on a whim. How much do we know about him? I know enough. Enough to say that we can trust him. All Miran natives are good, honest folk. Yes, Tatsu, yes. Anyway, Elma, you do seem quite sure of yourself. All right. I'll share the responsibility. He can stay. If... That's acceptable, Mr. Director General. If you're both certain, so be it. Many thanks, good sirs. Truly, we are walking on the ninth cloud of seventh heaven. Please call us L. The rest is far too formal. And honestly, we prefer L anyway. More importantly, Colonel, what happened with the Lifehold unit? I see. So it wasn't the Corps, after all. No. We confirmed it was one of the Archive units. Unit number 07. 07? That would be the LC repository, wouldn't it? One of three, but yes. The entirety of the Library of Congress archives. As I recall, the data was stored on units 07 through 09. Well, thank God it wasn't the core. This situation could have been a lot worse. I wonder. Hmm? The LC archives contained nearly every published work in mankind's history. It's not like it's just a bunch of random books and manuscripts, you know. It's a history of human thought, a record of opinions and emotions. I mean, yeah, sure, but... So if you stop and consider what it means to lose even a third of that data, it's a cultural and historical loss of catastrophic proportions. <clears throat> we do have parity data for the archives here. We know which unit was lost, so hopefully we can find some way to restore it. Let's hope so. Moving on. These ganglions. You're certain they were involved in the destruction of Earth? Here. See for yourself. The left shot is from a battle over Beijing. The right, from our encounter. Son of a... Is it possible this is their native planet? Tatsu told us they aren't from here, and El confirmed it. They're recent arrivals. Very recent. So, either it's one hell of a coincidence, or they followed us. Considering they appear to be systematically targeting the lifehold, I'd say that leaves no question they followed us here. Could they possibly know the purpose of the lifehold? Maybe the whole reason we haven't found the core yet is because those scumbags already trashed it. If so, none of us would be here talking in the first place, would we? Uh, you got a point there. This information doesn't leave this room. But we've had several recent Pathfinder reports of Xeno sightings and contact. They may or may not be gangly. But regardless, I propose we double down on our defenses going forward. That'll be all, Elma. Please continue hunting for any signs of the life. Yes, sir. Remember, the clock is always ticking. We have to find that unit before it's too late. A race against the clock. We've completed chapter four. And thank God that was insane. It was a heck of a ride. It was an intense one at that. And now we know all info on the Collectopedia, a database for all the mysterious items found on Nira. Nice. I'll have to keep that in mind. As well as gathering information. That too. 
And we have to do a little segment recon. And now there's a new arms manufacturing, huh? Based on data from Xeno combat encounters. This will be beneficial. And we have a new ally, L. L gives equal support to all Conrads. He uses a unique style based on the Shield Trooper class, as Mindstorm and Dual Dynamo. So we've gained two new allies in one intense chapter. Oh boy, that was a heck of a ride. Fortunately, we're out of time, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you appreciate it. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. It means a lot to me. Please do not forget to answer the QOTD, and I'll see you next time for when we do some more questing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got more training to do, especially with our new allies. Peace out.